y'all. Welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today it's the day before Thanksgiving, and I cooked a whole bunch of turkeys in the last couple weeks for my videos for the channel, and I don't feel like making a turkey for Thanksgiving, so family requested me to do a ham. So that's what I've got. I'm going to actually do a ham today, and I'm going to prep it today, and we're going to finish it tomorrow. Alright guys, I got my ham here, and it's right at almost 8 pound ham, it's, uh, let me see here what it says, I think it's uh, yeah, 7.88 pounds, so it's really close to 8 pounds, um, it's uh, semi boneless from uh, the supermarket here, Publix, and what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to go today, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package, I'm going to score it. And I'm going to use some of the running wild apple seasoning that I just uh, got. It's uh, new with them. And I'm going to season it on the outside. And then we're going to go ahead and throw it in a vacuum seal bag. And tomorrow we'll throw it in the uh, sous vide for about four hours before we throw it on the smoker. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the package. Right, and I'll be right I got back. it out of the package. Now this uh, ham is fully cooked already. And it is pre-smoked. But what we're going to do with it is we're going to pretty much just be heating it up in the sous vide and you know getting it heated up to temp and then we're going to throw it on the smoker on the pit barrel junior uh, cooker there and we are going to uh, get some more smoke to it so it would be a double smoked apple ham we're going to glaze it with some apple uh, glaze i'm going to make apple juice apple cider vinegar some brown sugar honey a couple other spices and seasonings that i'm going to put down in the description below and we're going to baste it when it's about almost done in the pit barrel cooker. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just start um, scoring it. I want to open it up some so we can get more of the rub down deep inside the uh, ham. Also when we start glazing it, that, gla that glaze will get down deep. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much take my knife, just kind of go in, it's deep, uh, you know, not too deep, just about, you know, half eighth of an inch to a half an inch and just kind of go around like that about a half an inch or so apart maybe an inch just kind of start back up here at the top try to get around that bone just kind of find your line try to stay on the same line it's just about an inch or so it doesn't have to be perfect um like i said all we're really trying to do is Get some more uh, surface area for that glaze and the rub to stick to once we uh, get it on the smoker. I'm going to go one way, then I'm going to do like a diamond shaped pattern, crisscross, kind of open it up. That way it'll look kind of pretty when we uh, take it out of the smoker and get ready to All start. right, guys, I folded up my uh, zip, my vacuum bag here so that the rub doesn't get all over the edges and make it hard to uh, seal it up. And I'm just going to go ahead and slide it right in. And it's just showing you here that expandable bag makes this a lot easier. And that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and seal it up. And then we'll see you guys tomorrow when I go to throw this in the sous vide container. got up about 12 minutes I dumped that in there right on top of the charcoal basket I'm going to be using the grate today uh, I don't want to hang it because I want to be able to baste it so I am I did put the grate in and I'm also 
putting a uh, probe on there so I can monitor the temperature and I put these in to help regulate the temperature so we're going to get this should take it about 15 or 20 minutes to get up to temp and that way the ham will be ready to go on and I'm going to let that go I am going to be running a probe in both the pit and in the food so I want the ham to get up to about 140 not much more than that so all right I'll all right all I got my ham out of the sous vide I'm going to put just a little bit more of the running wild uh, apple rub on there it's uh, brand new from running wild just going to put just a little bit more on and then I'm, I got my pit barrels up to just over 250 right now and it'll probably top out around 300 or so so but it's okay to throw this on because all we're doing is really getting some smoke to it crisping it up so we can glaze it so that's all just a little bit more so we can get some more of this apple rub on there I put some apple wood in the uh, pit barrel and the pit barrel is right at 244 I think I'm ready to pull this off I don't really need to hit 140 Just 140 was kind of my guideline but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off because we're getting ready to eat the ham is looking great I highly recommend when you guys uh, have to pick up any hot meat or food like this that you use um, some liners under your black gloves just pro tip it will help you uh, be able to pull this stuff off so I'm gonna go ahead and get this off and put it on my pan and see you guys inside guys I got it all done here one of the things I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a piece off of this ham just so you guys can see that I said it was pre-cooked pre-smoked but all we're really doing is getting that nice glaze on there so here you go Happy Thanksgiving, guys. And take me a taste test. Nice and tender and juicy. You taste that apple wood and all the uh, apple cider, apple vinegar. Mm. That apple rub came out really well, too. Tastes great. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and we're going to have our Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following.